Mr. Srinath Reddy, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 80 in the Electronics Branch of Engineering in GATE 2022. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Mr. Srinath, uh, yes, we really are proud of you. Uh, tell us uh, what type of coaching program that you have taken from our AC Engineering Academy. Actually, uh, it's uh, deep learning through. I, uh, I started my coaching in last year, sir, through deep learning. So you mean and, to say uh, deep learning uh, recorded classes, right? Yes, recorded classes. Deep, okay, deep learning recorded class program you have taken. Yes. Achha, see now there we have some subscription. Six month subscription is there. One year subscription is there. Yeah, Which one you have taken? Six months subscri subscription. Six months subscription you have taken. Oh. Yes, sir. Can you tell us the period in which you have taken that uh, subscription? From which month to which month? Actually, I started in uh, June, sir. Hmm. Ju uh, June to November, okay. I think. So, I 2021, June, June onwards, you have taken this. Yes, sir. June onwards, I have taken. Okay. Very good, uh, Sinadriti. Very good, Sinadriti. Uh, yes. Can you tell us your educational background and where you are from? Yes, sir. Uh, I am. My name is Srinath Reddy, and I completed my B.Tech in Abhya Siddhartha Engineering College in Vijayawada. So Siddhartha Engineering College, Vijayawada, right? Yes, Vijayawada. When did you pass out? When did you pass out? It's a 2020 September, sir. So 2020, you passed out, right? So last time I attempted a uh, for, uh, attempted for first time, and I got a four uh, four thousand rank, and this is my second attempt, and I got a 80 80 rank, 80th rank. Okay, good. So in 2021, you got a rank of 4,000. And this time yes. it is the 80th, uh, 80 rank, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Sina, the, tell us in your journey of, uh, in your journey for the gate, in the gate exam preparation, uh, what did you learn from the previous experience when you got that uh, rank of 4,000 and this time you got 80th rank, right? So what yes, modifications sir. you have carried out in a preparation? What changes yes. that you have brought in preparation? Can you please tell us? Yes, sir. Uh, particularly for every student, there will be a tension and a pressure on everyone, sir, during examinations and exam in examination hall also. And in first attempt, I feel very nervous to attempt an exam. And I made a, a, as many possible uh, of mock tests in a, through a deep learn course. And I made myself very co uh, confident to attempt the exams. And this time I, uh, I have written the exam very confidently and in particular and, and maintaining speed also important in these exams. Accuracy is most important in this exam, sir. I mainly focused on uh, maintaining the confidence while attempting the exam, sir. Okay, Srinath, one thing I want to know uh, from our AS Academy uh, for the students like you, uh, we have what you call during the corona pandemic conditions uh, we yes, had sir. what you call uh, deep learning recorded class program as well yes, as uh, live class program also was there yes sir so, but you have chosen a deep learning recorded class por portion any reason for that yes sir i have a strong reason because uh, in uh, live class sections we can only take the classes for uh, uh, 5 to 6 hours and during Remaining hours we have to prepare, but in uh, recorded classes we can extend it to up to our interest, and we can read more more time for it. We can spend more time to study. Already I have attempted first time. I already I completed almost full syllabus. So on second time I had taken the recorded classes so that I could get a more practice. I have I can write a more te test uh, te uh, mock test. So that's why I have taken the recorded classes. Okay, that's fine, Sinan. Uh, at what speed that you used to watch our videos? 1.5x or 1.75x? In normal speed only, sir. In normal speed, but I have taken, I will take a, for daily eight hours, nine hours, I will read, uh, I will take a class. Sir. So daily used to watch eight to nine hours? About eight to nine hours I have to uh, use. Okay, Sinan. While watching the videos, did you prepare simultaneously some notes additionally otherwise what you used to do uh, uh, while, while i'm listening the classes i will uh, write the uh, running notes sir. after completing full syllabus i ha i used to write a short notes i i used to prepare short notes for exams okay short notes means uh, compared to running notes of uh, running notes in the short notes what points that you have made 
basically i i used to write uh, most important points and formulas some main points uh, related to the topics every topic so that we formula can and main points right to that uh, topic okay right that's fine so uh, totally how many times that uh, did you watch those uh, videos uh, sira uh, uh, once i use uh, uh, fully i completed all the syllabus sir on second time i when uh, when there is a la uh, lagging concept i used to re uh, again come back and used to see it sir okay you mean to say first time you watch all the videos at normal speed and the then second the, time means whenever you had some doubts doubts sir, i come back areas where you want to improve further those yes, select sir. videos only uh, you watch isn't it sir, yes sir am i correct what you are yes, saying sir. Okay. yes sir yes sir right that's fine so tell us your feedback on our that deep learn recorded classes deep learn has a it may it may it made my dreams so easy sir come true uh, really deep learn may really i am very happy for getting these good marks by learning through the deep learn it's it is a very good platform in <laughs> yes sir it's a yeah particularly during this uh, corona pandemic time so uh, it's one it, of the best source to utilize yes, is it for preparation it is best yeah okay one more sira the you know deep learn uh, 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 see uh, did you come across all the concepts in depth complete uh, as per the syllabus of your gate examination after uh, i actually i left one subject sir hmm. remaining all uh, subjects i completed due to less time to prepare hmm. that uh, no i completed all, all, all videos so all videos whatever that you have uh, listen are they uh, sufficient for your gate point of view Yes, sir. It is more than sufficient. I left only one subject that also uh, less uh, importance. It is more important, but uh, this time I have uh, only five questions have they have given in the exam. The subject which I left. Which one you have left over? May no. E M F T. Okay, E M F T. Yeah, it's a very long subjects. Uh, so that's. Uh, so yes. in your electronics is one of the top subject, right? E M. Top subject, but uh, it's. Okay, right. Twenty subjects. So, yeah. How many questions were there this time in that particular subject? Only five questions they have given. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's fine, uh, Sinan. See, now. see yes, sir. one thing: watching those videos yes, and uh, uh, what you call revising the notes. At the same time, you have to spend some time also for a practice to solve some numerical problems, etc. Again, yes, you will be taking some mock tests also, isn't yes, it? Sir. So yes, after sir. watching the, the videos, what is the remaining time? As possible, I uh, I try to use uh, write to more, more mock tests. Mm -hmm. I use it to uh, more uh, mock tests as as possible as I can do. The mock test means here, see now we have different mock tests here. For example, you have subject wise tests are there, topic wise tests are there. Combinations also there and full length mock tests also there. Yes, so at what schedule that you used to take this mock test in during your preparation? Uh, yeah, in subject wise uh, mock test, I used to spend uh, one to two hours, sir. No, no. In, in what full... interval? Do you uh, have usually daily, otherwise weekly? That's what no, happens. No, sir. In mock test, I used to write every week, sir. In subject wise test, uh, three to four, uh, three to four days, I will take, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, every three to four days, I used to write uh, the exams. Right. Well, that's fine. See, uh, see, you require a lot of question bank also for your practice. Yes, sir. So we have given you a lot of question bank through this uh, deep learn uh, recorded uh, classes. Uh, yes, sir. And you might have also taken the previous year's question bank. Yes, sir. I used. Did you solve all those previous year's question bank? Yeah. Yes, sir. I have uh, already. I completed almost, sir. Mm. Yeah. The previous year's questions are more uh, similar to the every year, sir. Mm -hmm. By preparing the previous year's questions, we can get confidence to write an exam in the gate, sir. Yeah, that is one good point. Right? One, one. 
Previous question bank solving is a must for any comp examination. Every competition. You do agree with that, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, see now, how many times that you have revised this particular syllabus of your gate examination? Two times, three times? Can you name? I, I almost I uh, revised five times, sir. Yeah, five times. After completing full syllabus, I used to, uh, again, from first to last, I used to prepare and I, I used to write a uh, short notes for every subject, sir. That makes it very comfortable while writing exam. Yeah, that's good. Uh, see now, on the day of examination. Yes, sir. So what was your approach in the examination hall when you saw the question paper? Question paper. So what uh, strategy that you followed in that examination? Yes, uh, I started from the top, sir. Which whichever question it comes, I used to solve solve and as possible as I can. It should be done in the one to two minutes. One to two minutes, a maximum time. It's it will take five minutes. If I if I not if I am not getting that question, I, if I struck it somewhere, I used to left it and I continue with the next with next question, sir. Hmm. Maximum time I use used to write the exam, sir. Okay, that's fine. So this time in your electrons paper, there were many MSQs. Yes, sir, MSQs. So also what was your experience with those questions? It, uh, it will improve the concept, sir. It will improve the concept because it uh, every option we need to know to get uh, marks in the exam. So if you have good concept, you will be able to solve those questions, right? That's yes, what sir. Mark is there. Yes, sir. It? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's fine. See, not in the examination, did you attempt all the questions? Otherwise, any question that you have left, you said five questions you didn't prepare from EMFT. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you have left those questions, is it? Yeah, exactly. Only, I, how many I, questions you have left without answering? Thirteen questions, sir. Thirteen questions you left over. Thirteen questions I left it. Mm. Did you make any guessing? At least some no. questions. Without, uh, I will not guess, sir, because uh, there are no, there is a negative marking there. also. There is a negative marking. Uh, negative marking is there for some questions, but for example, we see MSQs and NAT, no negative marking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, but I know that even we that is a wasting of time, sir. Because okay, yeah, that is so, a wasting. So of when time you do not know the question, it is better if you can leave the question, isn't it? Yes, sir. It is better. Okay, right. That's that's your opinion. Okay, fine. Yes. Enough. So, from your experience of gate examination 2021 and 2022, and this yes, time you got a good rank 80, right? So, yes, from sir. this experience, uh, what do you want to suggest to the aspirants of the gate examination? Those who want to take in 2023, 2024, do you want to suggest them some tips from your experience? In my experience of uh, gate 2021 and 2022, the while uh, during uh, while during exam there will be a uh, tension and stress on every person to get a good marks in the exam. So be confident in uh, everyone. Be confident in themselves and uh, prepare the, prepare as many times as possible and be right and prepare a short notes. It is very important to. Uh, revise the syllabus uh, fastly and uh, confidence in themselves uh, while writing exam. Yes, one need to have a lot of confidence, right? Yes, sir. So confidence. You can derive confidence automatically when you make a rigorous uh, preparation. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So both are complementary to each other. If yes. You do good work, definitely you derive confidence. Yes, while writing exam. Right. Uh, that's a fine, uh, Mr. Sinath Reddy. See, in your electronics, there are many subjects there, right? One subject you said you left over. Uh, what about the remaining subjects? Did you go with any specific order in the preparation? Yes, uh, I started with uh, signals and systems, sir. Signals and systems, after that, uh, I, I started the communication. So there will be a link between the signals and systems. After that, I can go through the control systems. After that, analog. After that, uh, uh, networks. After that, ma mathematics. Sir. Mm -hmm. So, what about this uh, aptitude portion? The aptitude also. Uh, after completing this, this syllabus, I started that, sir. Mm -hmm. Right. After uh, completing this course, subject, uh, I 
so first you have yeah. a technical then you are uh, took that uh, aptitude yeah. portion also for practice right okay, okay. see not the uh, for this uh, technical subjects as well as aptitude whatever that you came across in this uh, deep learning regarded classes uh, was it sufficient for you or do you have any feeling that uh, something more uh, to be referred from the test book etc it is more than enough sir hmm. it is more than en enough um, uh, be, uh, that much level also they will not uh, I, i think but it is more than sufficient sir so it's more than sufficient for the gate examination gate exam i this more than sufficient okay good uh, see now so with this 80th rank what you are planning to do going for a psu jobs otherwise uh, trying for mtech admission in iits uh, my goal is to get an mtech in uh, iits sir to study in iits hmm. so it's speculation that you want to take i want to study to microelectronics sir in device I, in our yeah. analog yeah okay i think with this 80th rank definitely you get some iit that speculation what you want uh, finally uh mr sinath uh convey our uh, wishes as well as congratulations also to your parents who have been supportive in this uh, journey of a preparation right so we once again congratulate you and wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors thank you so much for all the parents thank you right all the best sinath